Ready for round two here versus bye bye. And do we want to play first? Of course we do. What's our hand? Three land spells. Seems perfect. Gonna lead with a sh shieldmate or wilds. I guess shieldmate. Yeah. We're playing against mono red, so shieldmate's perfect against denizen. Against mono red, you just want to trade with their creatures and try to not die. So don't need to attack, and we'll just turn to keening apparition. What does he play? Whoa, he played a lot of things. He played two one drops making his Foundry Street Denizen a 3-1, and then he attacked. And I will gladly trade with my 1-2. I will not take 3 damage. Now I get to play my Evolving Wilds, and probably just the font. Yeah. I don't really need to make my Keening Apparition susceptible to Lightning Strike. And I'm very likely to sack my Keening Apparition, so I don't really like putting Ethereal Armor on, or on it if I can avoid it. So he plays Hammer Hand with a Crone Crusader. Love that combo. Can't block and makes a 1 1s. So just, ooh, and a Titan Strength, so makes another 1 1. This is a beatdown. He gets to Scry and beat me down for 8. That's really good, so it's no wonder this deck is sweet. Excuse me. Okay. So I go down to 12, and see we're seeing like even Font and Alter's Reap, just not the kind of cards you want against these beatdown decks. So all I can really do while he's tapped out is just grow my guys. 4-5 first strike is pretty sick on defense. Um, so I'm kind of just saying, hey, deal with my creatures. Short cutter, <laughs> another you can't block is really really good so it's interesting he ships with everybody if he had crowds favor that would be the nuts because I'm gonna interesting I thought I would block with the crusader but I think what I need is just to keep my creature alive to block more one ones I just don't want to go down to one creature it gives him too much so ability to swarm me the next couple of turns so I'm taking just just one extra damage which isn't that much again if I draw like hopeful Eidolon or Sungrace Pegasus it'll really help so Pegasus that is so I guess I just go Pegasus go again trying to stabilize I'm at 8 life he needs more camp block effects Dragon Mantle, okay, that makes another guy for him. Draws him a card. Wow. Wow, sending with everybody is interesting. Because he can only make that thing a 2-2. Two -two. So even with Titan Strength, I can still eat it for free. So I'm fine just humping that with my 4-5 first strike, eating a token for free and gaining a life, and just killing another token for free and taking 4. Because then he can put Titan Strength on an unblock creature, but I still go to one. And then I have a Sungrace Pegasus in play, and I basically have crushed his board. So I don't see how this can go too bad. Oh, that is what he has. All right, so three, six. Oh, okay, I go to two, I guess. Well, well, six, go to two, and then gain one. So I go to three. So he's got me in Lightning Strike range. But... I can just attack with Pegasus next turn, which I'll have to do. So land. Okay, so from here I think I just attack with Pegasus, say go. Get out of lightning strike range just in case. I mean, nah, I guess it is smarter. Play Ormance or get back Shieldmate, play Shieldmate. Just in case he has like some double hammer hand. So, please. Crusader and Rolliker. Okay, that's doesn't do anything. It's pretty stable board now. Uh, I should play the Shieldmate to get my Ethereal Armor a little bigger. I should probably just Shieldmate the Pegasus and attack. 
with just it. Just again, get myself out of damage range. Rolliker makes another guy. That's totally fine. Again, Rolli Rolliker is a card that I've played mono red. I will not play mo Rolliker in mono red. It's just really bad. Again, attacking with everybody. Pretty interesting here. Still not dead to Titanic growth. Or Titanic strength or whatever. So just get the Edis team. He has nothing good now, and I'm at four. Like, I don't know what he can do. I'm gaining two life every turn. Three life now. So I gain my three, and I don't need to kill his guy, but I figure, again, playing, ah, uh, I don't know, he can't win. Mad naps, madcap skills plus hammer hand, or, I don't know, it's just over. <laughs> Game two. This time we're on the draw, so sideboarded in. Yeah, the three shrivel are really good against him. The other removal spells. Um, took out some of our slow cards. Probably the blood baron's the altar's reaps. Probably took out one font of return. Uh, this hand's not that good, but it's playable because shrivel is very good against him. I will probably play the Evolve, uh, probably the Guildgate first, because it guarantees that I have both my mana for the second turn. Yeah. It's wild Sand Guildgate come into play tab, so it's similar, but so two one drops on turn two means I go to 17, it's fine. So turn two, I take my three for one, because you can grow the Hoplite in any of these cards with uh, hammer hand, which I do not want to see. Like, if I play, like, Sky Guard, and then he hammer hands, well, then my shrivel's really bad, because then I have to, like, I don't even have the third mana to go, like, Ethereal Armor, then, then shrivel. So, very easy. Three for one. You know, six cards in hand to his, you know, one card in hand now. And Rollickers is so bad. Doesn't do anything. So I draw the untapped third land, which I really needed. Um, because now I can play Pilgrim. What do you find here? Pacifism's good, Stab Wounds, okay. Ethereal Armor's fine. I don't have that many creatures, but I don't really care what I get. Probably just Armor. Stab Wound, okay. Stab Wound's probably the worst thing I could have got. <laughs> I should have, if anything, eh, I guess my logic is I want to kill this Crusader, but I don't really care. I guess I think he could just keep making it bigger. But Sabu doesn't deal with it. I want it off, the, I think I want it off the table so he stops making all these 1-1s. One but see, I should be fine with a lot of 1-1s in play because I can just shrivel them all away. I think I should have just got Ethereal Armor. But that leaves his Rollicker behind, but that's fine. I still have the shrivel for it. And he's got to do something about my 2-3 first strike. He has nothing to deal with it. I, I mean, when he's on one card in hand, it's like, okay. I can just attack. I figure now is as good as time as any shrivel. Yep. And now play my creatures. So, basically... Not sure how I can lose from this spot. Get back stab wound, sky guard, yeah, it's like a pretty good spot. He just has lands pry. Magma spray concede. Okay. So yep, that went pretty well. Off to round three.